welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. And I'm going to try and get my Heaven and Earth Design Diamonds in a little bit more order. Um, we're going to see how this works. But basically, I've just, I don't know if you've seen my previous video, but I had to de-kit quite a few different kits. I had um, projects that have been done by myself, been done by my sister-in-law, been done by my daughter. Spare diamonds were sort of all over the place awaiting reviews and stuff like that. So I've had a big sort out and I now still have all the diamonds to put away that are for my heaven and earth designs. So these are the hundreds so that they're all over the place on the desk next to me um, and these are currently all the spares that I sort of have they're in different pots and all over the place but I do feel like I want to get in a little bit more order with some of them if I can so I'm going to start with the hundreds and um, let's just start with the 159 because it's here and um, pull out my pot so that's what I've got is the ones that are starting from 100 now some of them are quite easy like this first one I've picked up that's quite nice and um, in the fact that I can just tip them into this pot top them up and this is regardless of whether I've got enough for the whole project or not I've just decided this is the best place <coughs> excuse me to just keep storing all the spares together regardless so that's that baggie emptied have I got any more no and um, so I can peel the label off this pot from the project and that quite simply is that done and it can go away and um, it's there are pots though that are becoming full um, and I'm not able to get the spares in I also want to double check um, the likes of my spares because I did find for example this 159 I think if I had filled up enough of the pot I didn't I think I did this when I stored it once if I would filled up the pot enough I just didn't bother um, I put the spares back in my spare diamonds but I'm finding when I go to put them away it's not working out very well um, in the fact that um, I don't think to put them in my spares I just put them in with my heaven and earth designs so I'm going to keep every number there is a heaven and earth design I'm going to keep in my heaven and earth design spares when it gets to the point that that colour is done then they will go away um, because at the minute I check off for these pots if the pot's not in here they go in my spares so that's the way I think I'm going to work um, I've also started putting card in these to make them stand upright and um, I find it's working a lot better so let's take a load of these diamonds out of here because I've just realized there's a load more spares in here than I thought I had so let's take out let's take out one side maybe no let's let's start first off this is the hundreds so we have a card and we have the hundreds so we've got 159 already and I can see here I've got some bags of 152 and I think that they're taking up more space because they're in a smaller bag so I'm going to put them in my normal standard storage bags the 152 is already pretty full let's see how many it takes up when I put them into these So these are a bit staticky, so that could be fun. Maybe I'll do that bit off camera. <laughs> but I think they're going to take up less space in my box. I say there's quite a few that are staticky there, but I will sort those out later. And I'm going to try and get the storage, make sure it's flat. Um, 152s s for the square which means when I move them over back into my spare storage it will work and I'm going to 
gonna see if I can get them all lined up properly. So 152 actually goes before, and that's already taking a lot less space. Have I got any 152? No, so I don't have any 152 in my other storage. So I'm gonna go through some of these numbers now. Um, say starting with the hundreds, double checking whether or not I've holding them in my spares and try and get them lined up in in this sort of half size photo box that I've got um, and we'll see how far I get and I'll knit back part way through just so that you can see the progress um, and I'll see how my, my small storage box is working and um, I feel like I may end up needing a bigger one but let's see how we go and let's see what we can get done first. Let's speak to you in a moment. So it's now the next day and I'm still going. Um, so I have found that there is quite a lot of diamonds that I have for this project. Um, you know, there are still some that I'm missing. Uh, there are still some that I don't have enough to finish the whole project, but I still have quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I have found that um, I do have a lot of diamonds. So I'm trying to get them all bagged up so that they're all, you know, pretty organised. Um, I'm trying to sort of fill this bag as much as I can because I know I'm going to have to have two. And that rogue diamond actually has a hole in it. So that saves me fighting with that at a later date. So I'm going to um, continue bagging these up, but I thought I'd sort of show you where I've got up to at the moment. So this is my small photo box. I do think I would get away with a full size photo box for these, um, but they're divided up. So I've got hundreds in here, then I've got, I'm not sure if you can see that. So I've got 300s, 400s, 500s. I've sort of done it that way because a lot of the colors do just fit in the pots. Um, and then I have some that are extras. Um, so they're all 800s, they're all 900s. Uh, but then on top of that, if there's something that I have a huge amount of, um, so this one is 898 and 902, and that is all that's full of, is bags of 898 and 902. Um, the same for 938 and 939. Um, there is quite a few bags of both of those that sort of fit into this one and then I have got one more pot here I've just emptied some pens out um, to try and hopefully cross fingers get all the diamonds either in this or in these tubs for the numbers that are quite high I know 3371 is going to be quite high you know, I've already got a full bag there and that's before I mess about with any of the others. So that will definitely go in there. This one may do. Um, I'm sort of having a look over my shoulder um, at how many diamonds I've got for others and whether I'm going to need it for a different number. But we'll see. There is still a risk that they won't all fit. But I'm going to try my best. Um... And, and quite a few diamonds I've had in quite a few different places and of course it will be a lot easier if I can get them all together and um, it will be a lot easier when I'm putting diamonds away to be able to actually flip through and see what I've got if I find that they do not all fit in this small box what I may do is I may um, nip out to I'll not nip out, not today anyway, um, it's far too late. Um, I may pick another full size, normal size photo, uh, photo box up from Hobbycraft um, and use that. And I'll just in effect have a third one, but it will just be for my heaven and earth design diamonds. There are quite a few diamonds in this pattern, the likes of the 939 and the 3371. I think that need about 10,000 diamonds um, to 
fill the you know for the, for the whole project so um i definitely need to keep them about until they're classed as being done um i thought i'd also show you these are my three tens so all my spare three tens i did end up putting in one bag um it did get absolutely ridiculous the amount of three tens um, this bag is seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches and it's sort of about half full um, yes it could fatten out more but yeah I thought they were just best staying like that and I've marked them as, as three tens um, and then once I've finished this project we'll I don't know does any, anybody want to do a painting that's just all black Maybe that's what I need to do, find a design that is just all blacks. Um, I've also got my spares box handy while I'm doing this um, because I know when I did kit this up, um, I didn't, some of them I was like, okay, I've got enough for this project and I tipped them in the pot and I didn't bother putting the other bags in. It's getting confusing now when I'm putting my spares away. Um, now that I do have a pot for every single colour, it's, it's getting confusing. I don't want to be checking off my sheet every single time against it. Um, I don't mind doing, you know, a bulk inventory and working out whether a few colours I've got, I think I've got enough now or not. But... Um, I definitely don't want to be looking and going, oh, I've got enough of them, I'll put them in my spares. It's just easier to keep all the colours that my Heaven and Earth designs have in one place. So I'm just going to have a quick look now for, um, oh, 3371. Actually, I think I've checked all these already. Let me just check it anyway, because I can't remember, because it was yesterday. And I've slept since then. Uh, 3371, is that it? Okay, no, I don't have any in there. Yeah. <coughs> so this is the end of the three threes. Then I'm going to double check the three sixes, of which there's only a couple. And then I'll move on to the three sevens and the three eights. And we'll see how far I go. So I thought I'd give you a mini update. Um, I'll come back when I've done some more. Speak to you in a minute. Okay, so these are all currently my spares, spares from Heaven and Earth Designs um, painting. So all the pots that can be filled are filled and these are the ones that are extra. Now, many of these I will still need as the project goes through and as my pots run out. Um, I'm very close to fitting them all in the box. I've got those that won't fit, um, but I do have some space in in these tubs um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get like all of one colour in the whole thing so I've just had a brief look and 152 I do have like three bags of so what I think I'm going to do is try and get those to fit in and um, I will just put some extra little labels on the front there we go. I'll put some extra little labels on the front just to say that I've got 152 in there as well. But what that means is I can scoop this up and I can move some more of the 800s over, which I have a few of. And then I can scoop that up and let's have a look. So three sevens, fit those in. Let's see if I can get the three eights grows in a ish so can I move any more eights over all oh, potentially trying to get them all so they'll still all stand upright um, ah there we go that's better so they're all still the bags are all still stood upright so I can see them easily and add more it's a little bit squashed but it's not awful um, I may still pick up a bigger box but I'll do it more when I'm passing than necessarily make a trip having said that it's five minutes away um, and then my three tens 
which is just a huge bag. I might see if that can just sit in the top for the sake of being stored somewhere. Um, otherwise, I'm going to end up popping it in some other cupboard and not know where it is. Um, but yeah, that is now my spare sorted. It has taken me so long to put the diamonds away from a few projects that were all over the place but having said that I've done a lot of tidying up and sorting out as well that didn't just involve putting spares away but I feel like I'm a bit more organized uh, things are a bit more nice and straightforward so um, I'll pop these away now and hopefully I'll be able to get some more of my project done really soon. But thank you so much for joining me. I'll speak to you all again soon.